Hello everyone, a warm welcome to all of my students and thank you very much for being here with me. I would like to present before you a little information and I am going to discuss about voice. Today we will transfer active voice to passive. So my dear students, at first of all you have to know what is voice. Voice is the form of verb. Voice is the form of verb. There are two types of voice. There are two types of voice. They are active voice and passive voice. They are active voice and passive voice. So what is active voice? Active voice is when the subject of a sentence is an actual, the verb is in active voice. When the subject of a sentence is an actual, the verb is in active voice. What is passive voice? When the when the subject of a sentence is acted upon, the verb is in passive voice. When the subject of a sentence is acted upon, the verb is in passive voice. So, my dear students, to make a passive voice we have to follow this sequence to make a passive voice we have to follow this sequence so let's come to the point object of active voice first of all we have to use object of active voice to make a passive voice and number two auxiliary verb according to number person tense auxiliary verb according to number person tense so if our subject is in singular form, we have to use singular verb. If our subject is in plural form, we have to use verb in plural form. If our sentence is in present tense, we have to use verb in base form. If our sentence is in past tense, we have to use verb in past form. Okay? Number three, extra verb. Extra verb. When we use when we will use extra verb. When we will use extra verb. If we find auxiliary verb in active voice, then we have to use extra verb to make a passive voice. Then we have to use extra verb to make a passive voice. Number four, past participle form of main verb. We have to use past participle form of main verb. Number five, by. We have to use by to make a passive voice. Number five, objective form of subject. Objective form of subject. So my students notice that we have to know more about extra verb and objective form of subject. So let's get started. Here Here, extra verb. What extra verb? If we find, if we find am is or was or shall be, will be in active voice, then we have to use extra verb being. We have to use extra verb being to make a passive voice. If you find have has had in active voice, we have to use extra verb been. To make a passive voice. If you find shall, will in active voice, we have to use be in passive voice. And subject from, object from. Subject from, object from. Here, I, we, you, he, she, they is in subject from. Here, I, we, you, he, she, they are in subject from and me, us, you, him, her, them are in object from. So, subject from of I is me. Sorry, subject from of I, object from of I is me. Object form of we is us, object form of you is you, you, object form of he is him, 
object form of she is her object form of they is them so my dear students i hope that you have understood about subject form and object form so we are working out some example now we are working out some example so come to the point here is an example i help kori here is an here is an example i help kori so in this sentence i is a subject help is verb kori means object here i is subject help is verb and kori means object so my dear students we have to follow this sequence to make a passive voice object of active voice first of all we have to use object of active voice here object is kori so i am using kori number 2 we have to use auxiliary verb according to number person tense we have to use auxiliary verb according to number person tense as kori means or our subject is in singular form so you have to use verb in singular we have to use verb in singular and as our sentence i help kori is in present tense so we have to use verb in present form we have to use verb in present form so i am using kori is kori is dear student number 3 extra verb extra verb my dear students you have to remember that you have to remember that if we do not find if you do not find auxiliary verb in active voice we will not use extra verb to make a passive voice we will not use extra verb to make a passive voice so we use past participle form of main verb we will use past participle form of main verb so i am using past participle form of main verb help past participle form of help is helped kori means helped and according to our sequence we have to use by we have to use by by and last of all objective form of subject objective form of subject as here our subject is i so we have to use objective form of i i mean me we have to use me so i am using me kori means helped by me this is a passive voice kori means helped by me our following example is she is writing a letter she is writing a letter here she subject is writing her a letter object here she is a subject is writing her a letter object so according to our sequence we have to use object of active voice here object is a letter so i am using a letter then auxiliary verb according to number person tense a letter is in singular so i am using verb in singular so a letter is as we find here auxiliary verb is so we have to use extra verb we have to use extra verb and according to our rule if we find am is or was or shall be will be in active voice we have to use extra verb being to make a passive voice so i am using being and 
Number four, past participle form of main verb. And here main verb is writing. And past participle form of writing is written. Being written. Written. Number five, by. And last of all, object form of subject. Here object from subject is she and object form of she is her. So, a letter is being written by her. This is a passive voice. On last example, we saw them. We saw them. Here, we subject saw her them object. So, according to our sequence, we have to use at first of all object. Object of active voice. Here them is object as we make them a subject. So we will use subject form of them. So subject form of them is they. Subject form of them is they. So I am using they. And number two auxiliary verb according to number person tells. They is a plural subject. So, you have to use plural verb. And we saw them. The sentence is in past tense. So, you have to use verb in past form. So, they were. I am using plural verb. And past form, they were. And number three, extra verb. As there is no auxiliary verb. In this active voice, so we will not use extra verb. We only use past participle form of main verb. Here our main verb saw and past participle form of saw is seen. Number five, by and last of all, object form of subject. Here subject is we and object form of we is us. So they were seen by us. This is a passive voice. So, my dear students, I hope you have understood this topic very clearly. If you want to get more information about any grammar topic, please stay with me. I will see you soon again. Take care of you. Allah Hafiz.